Let's talk about nonstick cookware, specifically Teflon. So there's a lot of things that people grew up with that um, at first they seem to be totally safe. And then all of a sudden they're now this huge toxin. There's all sorts of toxins in Teflon, especially when you're heating it and breaking down certain elements in the lining of your pots and pans. There's six toxic gases that are emitted. Two of them are global pollutants and one is even lethal at low doses. So when there's a high amount of temperature, you get this degradation of this chemical, which is similar to a nerve gas. I'm not kidding. And so it can lead to liver damage, immune dysfunction, thyroid dysfunction, chronic kidney dysfunction, infertility, and the list goes on and on. But this is what I wanna know. We've been using this for 70 years, and somewhat recently now it's in a possible carcinogen. I mean, where were the studies 70 years ago? How did this get passed? So check this out, I'm gonna read something to you. The chemical PFOA persists indefinitely in the environment. What does that mean? It means that it doesn't break down. It's there forever. PFOA has been detected in the blood of many individuals in the general US population in the low and sub parts per billion range. And levels are higher in chemical plant employees and surrounding subpopulations. Though those concentrations have decreased by 70% between 1999 and 2014, which coincides with the end of the production and phase out of PFOA in the US. Now you're probably saying, wait a second, how can it be in every single person's blood? Well, check this out. The general population has been exposed to PFOA through massive dumping of C8 waste into the ocean and near the Ohio River Valley. So these chemicals tend to get into our environment, get into our food supply, and get into our bodies. So here's what you can do about it. The word is biotransformation. What is that? That is your body's ability to take these poisons and turn them into harmless particles through the liver. There are foods that you can be eating right now to help you break down these poisons and even plastics that are in your body. And you need to be consuming cruciferous vegetables on a regular basis, like the kale, the Brussels sprouts, the broccoli, the arugula, the radish, so if you are not familiar with those foods, I put a link down below, but cruciferous have the ability to decrease these poisons in your body. So it slowly gets rid of them without you feeling toxic because it's almost impossible to avoid our toxic environment. You have to be doing things to constantly clean your body of these poisons. Anyway, sorry about the bad news, but I also gave you some good news of things that you can do to eliminate and remove these chemicals. Thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you wanna know how to begin keto or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the US. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call, but I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.